Hey everybody, how you doing? Today's Torah Taxi Tuesday Challenge was as following. A purchase, purchase, purchase an item. And he used that item. And he realized after he used it that it was in fact defective. Can the purchaser still receive all of his money back? After all, he used the item a little bit and perhaps the item got a little bit uh, defective. And the question is, when he returns the item, can he get his full value back for the item that he purchased? So the Rambam writes in Hilchos Mechiras 1616, 16.6, Hamocher behemal chaver, a person sells an animal. Litvicha v'shchita, and they want to, you know, sell it for, to slaughter it. The Nimsa Trefa, and they discovered, in fact, that it was a Trefa. If 100%, there's no question that once it was discovered that it was a Trefa, it was after the deal was done, he sold the animal, on condition he's going to eat it, in which case, a Trefa animal is pretty useless, especially if you want it for the meat. Yachzir HaMocher Et Adamim, you, the owner of the original animal, must return all of the money. The reason being, because the whole reason why he purchased the animal was in order to eat from it and use it properly, not able to use it, despite the fact that this was discovered later, it does not matter at all. And therefore, it would appear, both based on this Rambam, which as he brought down in Shulchan Aruch, that if you discover something which would make an Amek Achtau, that if you would have known this ahead of time, you have never purchased this item, however, that was only discovered later, because you couldn't really check now, you wouldn't even know that it was now, and therefore the owner would have to return all of the money uh, that the purchaser gave him, and uh, he's back to square one, despite the fact that it was used a little bit. So in theory then, if you buy something from someone, even if you devalue it, let's say a car, which was an example that I gave, uh, use a car, the moment you take the car off a lot, it becomes devaluated, that's just the rule by cars, doesn't matter, you discover that the, the, en the engine is bad, right? And just a pretty major defect. The owner of the car would have to give you all your money back, even though, despite the fact that you quote unquote used and ruined the car a little bit, it would be considered a mekach taut. A sale would be totally uh, nullified and canceled, in which case the owner of the car would have to figure out what to do with the car. Uh, but that would be his problem, not the purchaser. Have a terrific Tuesday, everyone. That is today's Torah Texting Tuesday Challenge.